Hello everyone, I'm Alex of Venom Machine Support. In this video, I'm going to show you how to program the Space of Sails, or STOS, found on a Royal Merlin 4 control board. So let's get started. Understanding of how to program the space of sails on a Royal Merlin 4 control board is going to be important if you had just recently replaced the control board or you've gotten the control board repaired and everything's been returned back to factory settings. Or you want to simply change the way the buttons are controlling the columns. And that's exactly what space to sails allows you to do. So for example, on a Royal 650 behind me here, we have got 10 selection buttons but inside the machine, there's actually 12 columns. So space to sales allows us to assign the button to the column. They're not hardwired. So we can assign button one to any column we want, and we can assign several columns to button selection button one inside the machines. So space to sales allows you to do this. Now, on a Royal Merlin 4, like on a 650 or a 768 or a 542, you're going to have a, on the inside of the inner door, there is going to be a space of sales programming chart. That's going to show you which options are available to you in the space of sales. The space of sales has option 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I believe there's 8 of them on there. Where this might be, get you into some problems is if you've Let's say you got a Royal 650 and it is a used Royal 650, you may not have the original control board that came with that machine. So there were several, several different revisions and several different manufacturers of the Merlin 4 control board, and each one had a different option layout for the space of sales on the machine. So what you're seeing here on this chart may not be what's actually programmed on the control board. So this can get you messed up if you try to say, okay, option, I'll just go with option one, and then all of a sudden you're vending wrong products from the wrong button. So this is where the custom space to sales option under the space to sales comes in handy. And how I've always configured the machine, regardless if it was new or if it was a used machine for customers, I always did a custom space to sales. That way, if the customer ever calls me back and says, well, the machine's having this issue, I already know how the machine was pre-programmed before it went to the customer, unless they've changed it once they had the machine on hand. So my custom space of sales has always been button one will control columns one and column seven. So here we've got six columns up front and we've got six columns in the rear for a total of 12 columns. Now I have a video that I'll link above, several videos about the Royal 650 Merlin 4 control board, how to program the prices, how to load products, how to set the settings for different product sizes. Again, I'll link to the playlist above. So button one is gonna be set for columns one and column seven. Button two is going to be set for columns two and column eight. So we're using two columns per buttons for the first two selection buttons. So then button three would go to column three, button four would go to column four, button five would go to column five, and button six would go to column six. And this is where things can get tricky and trips up a lot of people. Button seven goes to column number nine because we're already using column seven and column eight for two other selection buttons. So button seven goes to column nine, button eight goes to column 10, button nine goes to column 11, and then button 10 goes to column 12. So that's how I've configured up my custom space of sales for customers. Now you may come up with your own configuration. Perhaps you want button one to use these two columns here and button two to use these two columns here, and then navigate down or descend down from there how you assign your button to a column assignment. So let me show you how you can create the custom configuration inside the space to sales. If you'd like to help support the Venom Machine support channel, I really appreciate if you could hit the like and subscribe button. If you'd like to extend that support, in the description below, I have some affiliate links. For example, I currently have an affiliate link to the NIAX online store where you can purchase a credit card reader such as this VPOS Touch and other accessories. If you use the coupon code VMS at checkout, you'll receive a discount and I will be compensated slightly at no extra cost to you. Thank you for your support. Now back to the topic at hand. 
So the first thing we want to have to do is to understand how to navigate the menu system inside a Royal 650 or a Merlin 4 control board. Now we're always going to use selection buttons 1, 2, and 3 to navigate the menu system. Button 1 is going to act like our up arrow, button 2 is going to act like our down arrow, and button 3 is going to act like our enter or cancel key depending on how long we hold the button. So first things first, we need to enter service mode. We do that by pressing the blue service mode button. That can be found on the inside of the door on the, on the control board. So I'm going to press that one time, and then we should have on the display, it should read cache. Now, if you're just control board and you press the service mode button, it doesn't say cache and it says error, then you may have to enter in a password. I'll link to a video above that I walk you through how to enter that password on a Royal Merlin 4 control board. So once we have cache on the display, we're now going to navigate to find our space to sales configuration, which is on the control board known as STOS. So I'm going to press the number one selection button until I get to STOS on the display. And here we have STOS, short for space to sales. I'm going to enter space to sales by pressing in number three selection button. And right here it's telling me that it's in OPT5, so it's in option five currently. So if I wanted to know what option five is, I can go and refer to the chart that's on the back of the inner door as long as that chart is still relevant, or I can press the number three selection button to go into option five and then it will report to me what option five is assigned to. But we're going to go to custom space to sale. So I'm going to press the number one selection button until I find CSTS which stands for custom space to sales. And this is where I've always moved to. I've always disregarded the options and created a custom space to sales. So to program the custom space to sales, I'm going to tap the number three selection button and it's going to enter custom space to sales. And currently right now it's showing SL1, which stands for selection one and it's telling me none. So it's right now selection button one is not assigned to any column inside the machine. So if the customer was to put money in this machine, press button one, nothing would happen. If I press selection button one, it will start ascending to all the other selections. Here we've got selection two. And then the SL disappears and then we'll show you what selection two is assigned to. So it's kind of like a, like a page. We got SL two and then underneath that is going to be what selection two is assigned to. So here it's saying SL two and it's going to eight. That tells me selection two is assigned to column two and column eight. So we press selection button one. We're going to take a look at selection three and here it tells me that SL three Three. So that tells me that selection three is assigned to column three. This is not the SL blinking. Look at it more like SL three turns the page and it's telling you what a column is assigned to. Again, if I continue to go forward here, SL four is time to column four and so forth. So let me show you how you program or assign a column to a selection. So I'm going to go back to that selection number one where we've got selection one, none, and let's go ahead and assign column one and column seven to selection button one. So we're gonna enter this by tapping the number three selection button. Then here we're gonna have CO1, and it's solid. The one is solid. So right now I'm in column one. And then by hitting selection button three, we can turn on or off the column. So right now we've got column one. I want this one to be active, so I need to turn it on. So I tap the number three selection button, and when I do, I get a blinking one. So that tells me that column one is now assigned to selection one because we are under the selection one programming area. So if I press the number one selection button, I move forward to column two. Now I don't want column two to be assigned to selection one. I want column seven to be assigned to selection one. So I'll continue to press the number one selection button until I find column seven on the display. And here I have CO7 and I need to turn that column on. So I tap the number three selection button, I get a blinking seven, and now column one and column seven are now assigned to selection one. And understand, it can get confusing. So now if I press and hold the number three selection button for a quick count of three, or as soon as I see the screen blink and let go, I'll exit out. And then here I'll have on the display, it's showing me what selection one is assigned to. So here we're gonna get SL1, and it's gonna say one seven. 
So that shows you how you can assign a column or columns to a selection button. So this allows you to custom configure your machines. Of, on your Royal 650s, on your 542, your 768. This also applies to the uh, four button programming found in a lot of the Coca-Cola front machines. I call that KO programming. Um, so this is the same concept applies to those space of sales. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other space of sales or configurations we got inside this. So we're gonna go over to selection three is signed to three. We're gonna go to four is four, five is five, six is six, Seven is nine. So here's a better example explaining to you how you can read the display SL7 and then the SL7 disappears like it's turning a page and showing you what is assigned to selection seven, which is column nine. So if I press the selection button here, it should be SL8 is 10, great. SL9 is assigned to column 11. And then if I do SL10 to 12. So that's exactly how I want this machine to be configured. I want button one to go to columns one, seven, button two to go to two and eight, three goes to three, four goes to four, five goes to five, six goes to six, seven goes to nine, eight goes to 10, nine goes to 11, and 10 goes to 12. So this year, that kind of shows you the configuration or the options how to do that and how you can set your space to sell the configuration. Again, this is very important to know, <clears throat> excuse me, if you ever have to change out a control board and you got to replace the battery on the control board. Now granted, these Corolla 650 Merlin control boards, they've been uh, running for quite some time and they got this little yellow lithium battery on the control board, which eventually those will die out. And whenever you replace them, you'll lose your programming. So you'll have to rebuild the control board. So Hopefully this video shows you a simple way to get back into your space of sales, go to custom space of sales, and how you can assign a column to a selection button or columns to a selection button. Now, if you find this video useful, I appreciate it if you could like and subscribe and make sure to hit the notification bell. You'll be notified next time I upload a video. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.